Hello, long riders. Welcome to Booze and Bugs. Here we go to the vice. We're going to start with a size 12 hook, 3X strong, 2X long, size 12 hook, and a 1 8 bead and black thread. Tie in two gut goose by it for our uh, brown ones for our tails. Come on, then move along. Buy it to tie up to the bead to build up the body, the, the bulk of, start building up bulk on the body. And it won't take much dubbing and all that. Now we're going to tie in about a, I don't know, about an eighth inch. I had mine a quarter. Mine was a little too big. I'd say about an eighth inch strip of nip skin. And you're going to need to peel, peel the paper back after you cut it. The white paper and it makes it like a clear plastic. You tie that nip skin directly on top of the hook so you can bend it over and tie it down then. So you want it straight and you want the doll part facing up. Oh, I know this is hard to see. I got in front of my light, but I see tied in on top. purple ice dubbing. It's a purple, uh, purple dyed rabbit hair ice dubbing. It's great stuff. And you're gonna make that cigar shape from the tail up to the to the bead.
Now we're gonna bend that nymph skin and tie it down right behind the bead. Just bend it over and tie it down with your thread right behind the bead. Now we're gonna use that wire, we're gonna rib, and this will help hold that nymph skin down and make a nice ribbing around the, the whole body. white geese by it's on the sides like legs. I'm not going to tie them on the top like the typical prints. I'm going to tie them off to the side. I like you with a leg. Oh, there's a natural curve to these goose biots. You want to make sure you put them so they bend out. If you tie them in where the bend is, wrong, opposite, they'll tie them and the legs will go in towards the body. So you want the curve so they curve out. And you want to end um, the goose, the side, the white bias at the end of where the ground ones start. So the beginning of your tail, that's where you want to end the one on the side. Wrong! <laughs> They're uneven. The one's too short. Alright, let's try that again. some light gray dubbing and rolled it around in my fingers kind of made it into a noodle and I'm gonna tie that noodle off to represent uh, a wing case you could use floaty yarn and gray or other stuff <laughs> dubbing right behind the bead and tie that off like a bird on a tree I'm just now I would tie these in size uh, 14s to 12s maybe even a 10 make a great fly to go in the end of your euro rod man I mean they're just brilliant they deadly fly so make sure you have these in your box tie them up you see here the finished fly beautiful um, I definitely make sure you have them tied
And check out these other videos above me. Um, I'll talk to you next week. I'll try and get it out by Thursday instead of Saturday. Oh, and everybody, go check out our live stream tonight. Come, check out our live stream. Be there with us. Have a couple drinks and let's discuss spring spring ta or fall or spring tactics fly fishing. Yeah. Have, have a good day. See you tonight.